morning, welcome to Kettlebell Gym. Today I'm going to teach you guys an exercise called the two-handed clean and catch. Show you a couple different variations of that exercise and also how you might want to use it in your workout. Um, this particular exercise is, one of the cool things about it is it really shows how versatile a kettlebell can be because uh, we're changing our grip with the bell, we're holding it in a different way, which is one of the great things about a kettlebell. Um, and then, of course, the other thing is that this is one of the first ways that you're going to learn how to sort of release and catch a kettlebell. It's a two-handed way of doing it instead of doing it with one hand. So learning how to release and reposition your grip on the kettlebell uh, with both hands. This is one of the sort of the, the more easy ways to go about doing it, if, if, especially if that makes you nervous to try that. So, uh, this is a two-handed clean catch. I'll give you guys a couple of different perspectives on this exercise. So I'll start off with the profile view. It does give you a little bit more information about what we're doing. So uh, the first variation I'm going to show you is just the dead version. So this is a dead two-handed clean to catch. And just so you guys know, I'm going to do a two-handed hook grip on the bell. I'm going to use my hips to float the bell straight upwards, okay, it's not going to project forwards, I'm going to drive it upwards, and then there will also be an upright row with both elbows simultaneously that is going to be relying, the movement in the elbows in the upright row is going to be relying on the power provided by the hips primarily just to sort of finish and follow through with the movement, okay, so I'm certainly not trying to use the upright row as a way of putting a lot of strength into the kettlebell, just as a way, like I said, to follow through with the power that the hips provided, okay? So from the profile view, hook grip, and then I'm gonna catch the ball of the bell with both hands. So here's my position. Before I begin, I'm just gonna do my safety check. You can see I'm gonna load my lats and pack my shoulders. I'm gonna make sure my feet feel flat into the ground, my back is flat. And I'm posturally in good alignment for the clean, two-handed clean to catch. Just like that. Okay, let me get a few more reps from the profile view and then I'll switch and show you from the front. On the way down, just repositioning my hands from the ball of the bell to the handle and up. And just floating the bell to chest level and catching it in a very fluid motion, okay? So now I'm gonna face the camera, you guys can see hands, where my hands are on the bell, I got a very nice grip on that bell. And you guys, of course, can use a very light kettlebell when you first practice this, and then dropping down, and up. On the way down, your hands almost slide up the kettlebell from here to here. They barely even come off the kettlebell at all. On the way up, there's a little bit more time where the kettlebell is floating motionless while you reposition from the top to the bottom, okay? So that's the most simple way of doing that. It's a really good way to develop that coordination to re release the bell and catch it again with a different grip. Um, you will find that if you do a lot of those, you're going to feel that your grip does actually start to burn, probably more so than any other muscle. It also gets the heart rate up. Um, so you can practice that and really take your time to sort of nail it with this basic progression before you move on, okay? So then moving on to a more challenging way of doing the same exercise is to turn it into a ballistic clean to catch. Now what's happening is because it's a ballistic movement, the bell is going to be projecting forward in a pendulum with a back swing, which means that we're going to have to obviously tame the arc of the bell and pull it in closer to our bodies as we would any other type of clean or snatch movement. We're gonna to have to make that U-turn and pull it upwards instead of letting it project forwards. And what you're also gonna find is that there is more movement on the bell as it actually does a little flip to catch when you do it in the ballistic way, okay? So from the profile, back swing, and a little flip to catch. Now I actually didn't flip it far enough, and you can see that the bell is not up and down, 
then that's where you want it to be. It'll make it much easier to catch it on the way back down. So from here, catching and back swing. Hook grip, and there's that rotation that I was looking for. Now what you'll notice is that when the bell swings and when I release it, it's actually out front of me a little bit. I'm not letting it swing up by my face where the handle could hit me, okay? So you want to be aware of that. And you're actually catching it out front just a little bit and then sinking it and guiding it in with both hands. Okay, that's what that should look like. You see that? Okay, so from the front view, and not enough rotation on that one. So I'm just going to shimmy it around, give myself a better grip for the drop. And there you go. So like I said, it's really smart to practice this with a live bell, especially while you get the coordination down. And make sure the bell isn't flipping around or coming too close to your body. And if it does, in one of the reps, just back up and let the bell fall on the ground, okay? So moving on, let's actually add a movement to this exercise. So of course, a clean, we automatically start thinking clean and press, push, press, or jerk. So. You can certainly clean and press, push press, or even jerk if you wanted to from that position. No reason not to. What I like to do with this technique is to add a very smooth squat to the technique. So what I'm going to do at first is I'm just going to do my two-handed clean to catch and then I'm going to add a goblet squat. And if you want to come out of the goblet squat and turn it into a thruster by pressing overhead, that's a great variation too. We're going to skip that just so I can move into something that will give you a little bit more of an information on this particular move. So two-handed, in fact, I'll show you this from dead and let me slow it down a little bit. Two-handed clean to catch with squat would look like this. And the beautiful thing about this exercise is that the bell is asking you to move it in the most efficient way, first of all in a bend, then moving directly into a squat. So it teaches those two motor patterns back to back and reinforces them, which is really good for coordination and also developing just the difference between the two. So. Catch it, and then goblet squat with it. So that's a fun variation. But what you'll notice, as you do it, you can actually be, turn that squat into a very smooth drop, and you're catching the weight halfway through the, the squatting movement. And then it would look like this. Now you don't even power the bell up as high. You float it up to hip level, you drop down, and you catch it almost at the bottom of the squat. And really what you're doing here is just changing the movement. You're making it a little more fluid. And adding that element of coordination, it also increases the pace and get your heart rate up a lot more. So it, it's totally a fun way of doing it, but it's a nice way to progress. You can learn it very simply, just with the two-handed clean catch. Then you can try the ballistic variation. Then add the squat. And then add the squat to the ballistic version. And like I said, of course, from there, if you want to press overhead, especially using the power of the squat, it's a wonderful addition to this exercise too. It's so complete. You end up working posterior chain, anterior chain, 
Heart rate gets up. You can lift overhead, obviously. And it really brings out, like I said at the beginning, the versatility of the kettlebell and all the different ways that you can use it. A couple of the hundreds of ways that you can use a kettlebell. So, hope you enjoy it. Give this one a shot. Practice it up. Let me know how you like it. And I'll see you next time in the kettlebell gym.